Hey guys, this is Pokemon Ultra Moon, video number 42. So in the last video, last video was a big video. Um, finally, Chargebug evolved into Vikable, and also Grimer evolved into Muck. Um, yeah, that was good. That was good stuff. Um, so now everyone on our team, I believe, is at their... Um, everyone on our team is at their final evolution, which is awesome. So that means we are like... Yeah, I don't know what it means, but it's awesome. Um, we're at our max. That's what I was trying to say. We're at our max as far as, like, strength goes. So, that's awesome. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. And also, big stuff this week. Um, big Pokemon stuff this week. Big Pokemon, yeah. Like, big Pokemon stuff this week. Obviously, uh, Pokemon Let's Go is coming out on Friday, which I will get to in a moment. But... Today, they announced a trailer for Pokemon Detective Pikachu, or something like that. Yeah, Pokemon uh, Detective Pikachu. It's a live-action Pokemon movie, and it's actually happening. A live-action Pokemon movie, Detective Pikachu, voiced by Ryan Reynolds. It's, it's, it's Deadpool playing Pikachu, basically, is what's happening, which is amazing. But yes, live-action Pokemon movie, Detective Pikachu, Pikachu voiced by Ryan Reynolds. Um, watching the trailer, if you haven't watched the trailer, watch it, obviously. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and make a video about it here later, uh, just because I feel like this is, like, huge Pokemon news. Regardless of how you feel about the movie, or how you feel about the trailer, it's huge Pokemon news, because it is a live-action Pokemon movie, which is, it's big. Okay, it's just, it's just big. So, um, I, I'm really gonna try and make a video about it, where I just sort of go into more detail about it, kind of show the trailer, give my thoughts, and stuff like that. So, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. Uh, live action, Pokemon. It's happening. So, anyway, uh, Pokemon Let's Go, like I said, I'm gonna come back to it. It's coming out on Friday. My original plan, way back when they announced it, was to be done with this Let's Play by Friday, by, by that time, and start Pokemon Let's Go. Well, obviously, you see where I am. I'm probably not going to get done, but I'm also not going to start Pokemon Let's Go on Friday. Not because I haven't finished this, honestly, just because um, the money that I was going to use for that, I put towards other things, not Pokemon or really even video game related. Um, so, yeah, I will not be actually purchasing Let's Go for quite some time. And it's not just the game I have to purchase, it's actually a Nintendo Switch that I have to purchase. I do not yet own a Nintendo Switch. And I was gonna buy that in the game just so I could play that game, but, um, yeah, that's, that's gonna have to wait. Um, maybe, maybe by, like, December I could? My job right now is offering a lot of overtime, so I'm planning on doing a lot of that, and maybe some of the money, extra money I make will go toward that switch. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but, uh, yeah, probably close to Christmas, end of the year at the earliest, um, but I start uh, Pokemon Let's Go. But yeah, anyway, um, yeah, it's not going to be anytime soon. Um, that being said, my other game that I'm doing, Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon Blue DX, um, the last video I uploaded was the final gym leader. Actually, the two final two gym leaders. I actually battled two gym leaders in that video, so um, if you want to, go back and watch my last Pokemon Blue DX if you haven't already. I actually battled Blaine and Giovanni both in that video. So, um, good stuff. Really good stuff. Um... I actually finished that game. I completely finished Pokemon Blue DX. Even, like, the after-game stuff, which... Uh, there's not a lot of after-game, because it's a hack of Pokemon Blue. So there's not a lot of after-game stuff in that game. There was a little bit more, actually, in Blue DX than you could do in regular Blue, which I, I did. Um, but yeah, I have completely finished that game, so I will be uploading those videos kind of a little bit, I guess, more frequently now. I'm probably going to upload a uh, Blue DX video either tomorrow or the next day. Um, or I, sh I, I could, I guess I could just upload them all and then just focus on this one. But no, I mean, I already am kind of focusing on this one because it, it doesn't take anything to upload a video. Actually, 
playing the game, editing, doing the narration, that's what takes the time. So, a lot more work goes into these videos than Blue DX. I'll just leave it at that. But yeah, um, so yeah, but a lot of Pokemon stuff going on this week. Um, Detective Pikachu and Let's Go coming out, so... I'm excited. I am... I am definitely excited, so... And then, also today, we heard very sad news. I usually don't talk about stuff like this on the video, but I'm gonna say it just because this is someone that I'm sure everyone watching this video knows who he is. Uh, today, the world did lose Stan Lee, um, creator of so many Marvel Comics characters. Most of the characters that we see in the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies are in I uh, somehow Siri thought I was talking to her. But most of the characters that we see in the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies um, were created by Stan Lee, or co created by Stan Lee, I should say. Um, obviously, he had cameos in every single one of those, but not just the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies, but like other Marvel movies that weren't part of that cinematic universe. Um, he had cameos in like the. Like the I was going to say the original Spider-Man movies. I don't know if they're the original ones, but they're for me, they are the ones with Tobey Maguire. He was in those. Um, even the uh, even the Marvel shows that were on TV, like Agent Carter and Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., he had cameos in those movies as well. So, um, you know, he... Uh, he... You know, obviously... He did a lot more than just those cameos, but that's kind of what most people know him from, who are just kind of casual fans of those movies. So, anyway, he passed away today, 95 years old. Um, he had a good long life, I will say. And, uh, yeah. He will definitely be missed. He will definitely be missed. Uh, fortunately, I, I think his cameo was already filmed for the uh, the two movies that have that are the next two movies that are coming out, being Captain Marvel and uh, the Avengers Four. So at least we'll still get to see him there. I feel like there's going to be huge reactions to his cameos in those movies, especially the Avengers Four one, just because I mean it's it's. It's his last one. It's his last cameo ever that we're going to see, so... Um, yeah. I just... Yeah. We lost the legend today. Anyway. Enough of that. Don't want to bring us down here. So, um, yeah. Um, we have these, these new Pokemons here on our team. No, not new Pokemons, but newly evolved Pokemons. I should say, and uh, yeah, so this little area here, this is the, uh, this is Tapu Village, I believe is what it's called, and uh, <clears throat> oh, but we gotta do the Rotolotto first though, oh, what is that, the Encounter Power or something like that, Roto Encounters, yep, yeah. or wait, is that what that is, I don't know what that is, I can't, I can't really read it, <laughs> the, the window that I'm like, watching this through when I do the narration it's very small so especially when I go to like the view where it shows the two windows the the text is kind of small for me to read it so <clears throat> probably so boobo it says um I don't even know how many I have but I'm sure he'll tell me Oh, I have 35, wow. I'm sure this place will pop up at some point. <clears throat> okay. So, we're gonna go over here to the Aether House, which is where we're supposed to go next, apparently. Aether House, where people and Pokemon huddle together, or something like that. <clears throat> Ooh. 
wait up, Matt. Yes, it is. Wait, what? <laughs> why does Hal do that? Like, why does why does he start like doing that just because they're doing it? Uh, he's crazy. How are you crazy, son? All right, so he sends out an Elekid, and we have Victor Volt. Ooh, we got electricity. I don't know why I said it like that. Electricity. Electricity versus electricity. But Vikavolt's also got that bug thing. Ah, oh, excuse me. Bug thing going for it, which is nice. Two X scissors is all you need right there. And we defeated the preschooler. Yo! Yo! <clears throat> yeah. Oh, it's this person again. So I forgot if, if we like know at this point in the game if she's the uh if she's the child captain or not. I mean I know we've met her at this time, but I don't know if she's announced herself. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> and how it's just all like What? No, but there it is. She just said it. She just answered the question. So I guess we didn't know up until this point, but now we do. Look at this thing. What is that thing's name again? I forget. I guess we'll go in here too. A lot of toys. This looks like a nice place. A little toy room. I guess. Do those two little kids live here or something? Or. Or. Okay, spoiler alert, unless you've played... Unless you've played Sun and Moon, then you know. But, or, was that where... But if you haven't played Sun and Moon yet, and, like, this is the first time you're seeing this storyline somehow, some way, um, you know, just don't listen for, like, the next 20 seconds. But maybe that's the... Ha is that the house maybe where Lily and Gladion grew up? Like, was that their house? And those were their rooms, like with all the toys and stuff. I don't know. It seems like those two little kids live there now, but like who who watches them? Like does Sarola watch them? Or does that big Oranguro watch them or whatever it's called? I don't know. Anyway, just a theory. I don't know. Not a very good theory. But a theory nonetheless. Uh yeah, we're we're you know, we're still going with the Vikavolt here. Vikavolt. Vika Volt, Vika Volt, Volt. Okay. Frickin' Nebby. Why can't you just stay in the bag? It's like he wants to get caught. Or maybe he does want to get caught. Because you remember what happens once they actually catch Nebby and then he... You know, you know what happens. Maybe he wants to get caught so that all that can happen. Like, right away. Ugh. Oh. I'm, I'm coming up with all these insane theories in this video. Like, this, this is like the video of theories. What are we even doing in this video? This is uh, Aether House and... Route 14, perhaps, maybe-ish? <clears throat> I'm always on the lookout for good thumbnails. We might find something down here. Oh yes, the old supermarket. So this is the original um, supermarket. The one that's over there in Royal Avenue, I guess it's the new one, but this is the original one here. <clears throat> maintain server. So there's some trainers here on this route. I believe this is route 14. Some trainers here on this route that we can battle. Um, at the end of this route, like she said, it's the supermarket, which is the trial site. So um, we're going to kind of take care of everything here first. And then uh, in the next video, we will, uh, we will take part in the trial. The uh, 
sixth trial, I believe, already? Maybe? Is it the sixth one already? I'm not counting the grand trials. Because, let's see, on the first island, it was a Lima. And that was the only one. And then on the second island, you had... Lana... Mallow... And what's that dude's name? The fire guy? I don't know, but you had those three. And then on this island, we've had Sophocles. And now we're going to have Asterola. How do I not remember that guy's name? Kiawe, or something like that. Kiawe? I think. I think that's what it is. <clears throat> so X Scissor is just gonna be like neutral because it is rock and dark. Um, rock is gonna be super effective against the bug type in me. <clears throat> that w that worked out. That was good. That was good right there. And Vaca Vault is at level forty. I'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. I don't know. Um. We gotta pick up the totem sticker here. Eventually, the uh, the point of these totem stickers will become clear, but uh, that is not right now. Let's see, is there something over here? Ah, yes there is. Look, an item. A max revive. This will revive you to the max, as its name suggests. Oh yeah, you can see the entrance to the trial right there that we just passed up. Oh look! I didn't even I didn't even see that one right now. I mean I saw it, but I didn't think it was a totem sticker. A max potion. Oh, this one will potion your Pokemon to the max. No, you know what I mean. You know you know what a max potion is. I know you do. It heals your Pokemon max HP, no limit. If they're fainted, it won't do anything. But if they have like one HP left, it'll it'll restore the HP completely. Even if, even if they have more than one HP left. You, you get the idea, okay? Jeez, come on. I have to explain everything. Um, that's the fishing spot right there. Oh, and look. She is surrounded by Frillish. That's a good, uh, that's a good thumbnail right there, actually. That's not something you would really, I think, see in any other part of the game. It's very, uh, you see, like, this person surrounded by the Frillish, and, uh, you know, you're like, oh, I know what part of the game that's from. Yeah, I think we found my thumbnail, guys. I think we found it. <laughs> yeah, I haven't made the thumbnail yet. And that's another thing, too. It actually takes a little bit more time than you would think to make those thumbnails. Because I have to make sure that the image in the thumbnail is, like, positioned in a way so that the, like, the, the various little logos that I have on the thumbnail, like the logo of the game, my logo, the number logo, like all of that, like don't kind of interfere or cover it up too much. And then also, like, I want to make sure I don't use thumbnails that I've used on other other videos. But I think what I'm gonna do from now on is just come up with like a generic thumbnail for like the game I'm playing, and then maybe just change like the number and like other like small details. But I think from now on. Like, after this game and Blue DX, I think my thumbnails are gonna have, like, the, like, a uniform background image. <clears throat> Ooh. Wishcash coming at me with a scald. Yeah, I'm pretty useless here, honestly. Like, there's really not, um, not much I'm able to do here, um, so let's get freaking Rudder in there, and, uh, the water should at least be, um, neutral, or, you know, you can use the disarming voice, which did, like, nothing. Hmm, let's, let's keep trying again. 
I should use the water type attack though, because it's gonna be neutral against that thing. And it's raining, so it'll be a little bit powered up more. Wait, was that it? No, that wasn't it. So was that sparkling art? I didn't even look to see what move I had used. Disarming voice again. Well, if that was it, then okay. I guess that's why I didn't, I didn't do it. Um, ugh, stupid potential unwanted program being blocked. This guy was tough. And I don't have a grass type Pokemon or grass type move, so. Yeah, Haunch Crow is next. Dark and flying. That would actually be like the perfect Pokemon for Vikavolt to battle. Hence, me sending in Vikavolt. I'm trying to think, um. What dark type Pokemon are weak to is bug and fighting, which Honchkrow's flying type kind of just neutralizes basically. Are they also weak to fairy? Are dark type Pokemon weak to I think they are. I think they are weak to fairy type. So maybe that's another weakness that it has is fairy, but other than that, um the dark typing doesn't really do too much as far as giving him more weaknesses. It more so gives it more offensive uh, weapons, so that's pretty good. <clears throat> so now we're just gonna kind of float around here, and uh, I know there's some swimmers here in this water, so we'll we'll make sure that we we battle them. We don't want to miss anyone, you know. And, you know, of course, there's also going to be wild Pokemon here. Like this here, Finian. Finian! Thunderbolt! That's what, that's what Finian said. Alright, so here's someone. Let's see what happens. The reason I don't ride Lapras is because I can swim faster than Lapras. Dude, I'll race you. <laughs> uh, I don't believe I don't believe him for some reason. Oh look, it's a Pukumuku. This game's answer to uh, Shuckle. Look at that. Oh crap. I forgot about that. Uh, and that's why I would suck at Nuzlocks. I still have not, to this day, done a Nuzlocke. And I, I know I would suck at it. It would be terrible. I might do a Nuzlocke one of these days. I don't know. We'll have to see. Alright, but, anyway, um, I, th I think that's it. I think we battled all the trainers here. There weren't too many. Uh, Acerola done ran up those stairs. She's all excited. Um, and we will be too in the next video, so thank you for watching, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment. Please leave a like. That helps a lot. Uh, leave a comment, and I will see you next time. We will take on the trial. Okay, bye.